So, get this. What, Naveen? I have like a barn dozen of pages worth of translation to do. Jen, do you have a book that translates Spanish? Hey. I promise you this is more exciting. You have Ellie Berkey beat. Swell up, Naveen. Don't mess with me. Barker went and saw the general, apparently, last night after I left. Next thing you know, the general's watching your videos. What? Why would Mr. Berkey show the general my videos? Priorities, fence loves. This is good. The general was already pissed about Ellie's freak out with the camera scenario. If your videos have strategic value... I'm in the clear. You'll have wheels on the ground again yet. <laughs> but, but, Mr. Berkey wanted my videos for mapping Greenden territory, for keeping records. Why would he show them to the general? First that Freeman's going to hell. Not after that fight. The only person who can get Ellie's sniper dot off your head wants 6-2025. This is good. On that note, why didn't you show Barker as soon as you saw Valen and Fremont? Colin said I should wait. <laughs> well, stop. I don't want to stamp this red until the gun goes off. I can't handle that kind of hope. There's a lot left we have to resolve without destroying the old system. Yeah, like the whole military's executive branch thing. Yeah, we have to deal with that. Alright, so when says when you call her general. I noticed. Maddie's presence is clearly felt around the camp. I Look, Dane, we've talked about this, and I disagree with you. I mean, what's even brought this up? I'm not sure. Questions of leadership. Well, we have it all put back together, don't we? And we all work well together. You, me, Hobbs, Albright. And you're a really good interim military leader. Patently untrue. Would I lie? Frequently. Trace, would I lie? So are you going to the fire later? Kimber's making me go. As well she should, a true tradition. Will I see you there? Unlikely. Come on. I'm busy, Harry. Well, I mean, we all still have to stick together, don't we? There's a difference between sticking together and singing Kumbaya on a campfire once a week. I'll, uh, I'll see you later, Trace. Hey, Miss James. Miss James, can I interview you? I'm busy with Mr. Everett's affairs. I can't be bothered. But it, it'll only take a... No. Sorry, Adrian. Bad luck. You're trying to interview Hattie? It, can you talk to her? No. She thinks I don't speak English, remember? Anyways, I wanted to talk to you about something else. What is it? Timber Gregg. The sick girl you were with yesterday? She doesn't look sick. She looks great. You can tell yourself that. How well do you know her? She's my sister. Oh. Shit. And she's been my friend since the virus. Why? Nothing. I just... I was just curious. W wait. Can I interview you? It has to be quick. But... Yes. I don't care. What's your name and age? Sure, Xiu Ying. 22. But how long have you been 22? <laughs> Sorry, don't worry about it. You work for the Federal Recollection Bureau. Tell me about that. I'm not sure if I like that. It makes me sound very... complicit. Complicit? With what? <laughs> the FRB. <laughs> oh, speaking of... You're interviewing Zhu Ying in Chinese? Yes, um, because... We... we think we can translate it later. That's optimistic of you. I'm free now if you still want an interview. Um, okay, but, um, l let's finish speaking with Zhu Ying first. I'll be nearby.
All right. She is such a bitch. We have to cut this short. Hattie's gonna start to get suspicious. I don't usually take this kind of risk. So why take it now? Look, just be careful. The FRB is more involved than you think. So I'm Adrian, and this is Charlie, and oh, Trace, Trace, uh, could you come help us? Interviewing? And this is Trace. Um, so are we all set? Do you, anything I should know before we start? Not that I can think of. I can clarify anything from Zhu Ying. I expect she was largely using hand signals, maybe? I've been teaching her those. What's your name? Hattie James. How old are you? I'm 20. And where'd you go to college? Uh, Maple Leaf Prep. Nice. How did you start working for the FRB? I was an intern at one of their subsidiaries. I attended a conference on Yaxley Island with Mr. Yates of Rocks Incorporated. And he's with the FRB as well? No, he protested the sealing off of the island, which of course I disagreed with. So the FRB was formed? From those firms that remained on the island after it was sealed off. What happened to Mr. Yates? I, I honestly don't know. So what do you do now? I travel with Mr. Everett as he arranges the transition between local and FRB leadership. I keep track of resources redistributed, contacts made, and an inventory of all the essentials we keep with us. The FRB has traveled pretty far, right? Where have you been? Mr. Everett is integral to the FRB. This is about the furthest from civilization we've gone. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I, I didn't mean to offend. Uh, I, I need to continue work for Mr. Everett. Excellent to speak with you all. Let me know if your leaders need any more information on collaboration with the Bureau. Listen, somehow I doubt that will be a problem. I'd actually like to talk with you more about the FRB. Uh, we'll walk and talk. Not getting involved, who Adrian spends his time with is Kimber's problem. So, how about it? How about what? I was thinking that Chi-Yang could come to the campfire tonight. Do you think that's a good idea? Charlie, We've talked about this. I can't vet your friends for you. You'd be, both you and Adrian, you guys would be freshmen? Mm. Yeah. Freshman in high school. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, no. Huh. You're not missing out on much when it comes to high school. You'd be getting your first no, no, ASB no, no, cards. No, 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 no. Yeah, mm-hmm. No you'd be going to pep rallies and football oh, games. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe you'd be in the band. No! <laughs> no, band is great. Band nerd mm. alert. <laughs> band nerds are the best people. Like, oh, so many of my friends yeah, in high school were to be a band nerd, you'd have to play an instrument. I think it's worth your time if you want. If you want. Well, why am I talking about this? It's not, it's not going to happen, but, you know, theoretically. <laughs> oh well, you, you, can, you can still drink that. Okay. You'd totally be a drama kid, Rachel. <laughs> I think you'd be a good French horn player. <laughs> is, that, is that an insult? Simon is in the scanning room, and he's figuring out what's wrong with River. Been done to. Yes, what's, what's been done to River. And so while he's doing that, Shane goes out into the hallway, and he makes a call, and the guy on the other line is an Alliance official, and he tells Jane to bring Simon and River to a certain place so that they can be captured. That bastard! I told you, Rachel! Hey, quiet, I'm telling a story here. So, after Jane does that, and Simon finishes up with the scan, Jane and Simon and River all meet up, and they go to meet Zoe and Mal. This is where they save the old guy. No, this is not where they save the old guy, and... Unless... It totally is. Ah, oh, shit, you're right. No, let me, let me back it up a bit. It doesn't matter, Char- Oh, sure, okay, fine. I'm sticking with it. But, turn the camera off, I don't want the future generations to know that I messed up Firefly. Anyway.